Hi everybody, I want to welcome you to Taiba Studio. This is my uh, studio in my home. And as you can tell, it is not Pinterest perfect. It is messy, uh, but organized messy. That's the way I like it. So today I just thought for my kind of launching into my brand new doing videos uh, online, I wanted to show you a short demo on what I do in a uh, class where I teach how to do alcohol inks on tiles. And I have um, a project today and I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So welcome. And the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that my tile doesn't have any dirt or oil from my fingers. And so I'm going to use a 91% um, isopropyl alcohol. And I'm going to put that on some paper towel and I'm just going to wipe down and clean uh, the tile. This is good practice for um, alcohol inks pretty much on any substrate that you might use. And alcohol dries so quickly that you can see it's just evaporating. You don't have to really worry too much about waiting for um, long before this is ready and prepared. And I think it's always wise as an artist to give some thought about composition so that you start with something in mind. And then as you go on, you can kind of let it free flow and you can kind of move with wherever the inks are going. They aren't, they aren't very easy to control. and. Sometimes they just do magical, beautiful things on their own. So I am going to do a birch tree tile. And the first thing I'm going to think about, this is a straw I'm going to use to blow the inks, but I use this sometimes just to visualize a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is put um, one, uh, a couple larger birch trees here, and then a smaller birch tree maybe in the back. And um, I think I'm also going to then have my, I think my horizon line isn't going to be straight. I think I'm going to do it on an angle to create kind of a dynamic and kind of a perspective going on since these trees in front are going to be larger and this is going to be smaller in the background. I think that might be interesting. It'll also allow me in the foreground in this corner to maybe put some some um, uh, accent marks of some uh, grasses. So, I, so for the sky I'm going to use the honeycomb. I'm going to use the um, sunset orange and for the base of it, I'm going to use uh, oregano and one of my new favorites, which is the espresso brown. So the first thing I always do is open all my inks to make sure that they're just ready to go. Um, I don't want to have to have something going on where I'm not prepared. The other thing I do is I always wipe off the tips of my inks because I find that I always put the wrong caps on and I'll end up with, like this has some green in it, you can see. So I always clean these off, get everything prepared before I start to jump in. Um, so we'll just wipe those off. This one looks pretty clean. So the first thing uh, I'm going to do is my sky and my ground. And I'm not going to worry too much about the trees because as, you, as you'll see with tile, I'm going to be able to pull the trees out with alcohol and a Q-tip. Um, and it will get right back to the pure white of the tile. So we're going to start. And um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through this and I'm just going to let you watch and I'm not going to talk. And I'll probably even do it at a little bit faster speed so that we can kind of get through because this will take me a while and I don't want this video to be too long. All right, here we go.
I have my background in and it is um, getting close to being dry. I know I've got kind of a strange shape going on in here, but I'm really not going to worry about it because once I pull up these tree branches and do uh, a little bit of dotting for leaves, that's going to all kind of blend in. Uh, and same with back here. So I think this is uh, perfect to get going to put in our trees. So let's do that next. Welcome back, and so now I've got, um, I think the foliage is pretty, and I'm really liking what's happening down here in the uh, foreground and in the um, kind of the earthy colors at the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is put in the bark on the um, trees, and so what I use is just a Sharpie. Uh, you can also use a brown Sharpie. There's also um, what's called um, Copic markers. And these are wonderful. They're alcohol ink markers. Um, the Sharpie is more of a permanent marker, so I won't be able to move the ink very much once this dries. But what I'm going to do is put it in and move it pretty quickly with some alcohol just to give some dimension. So I, I think about the sun. I have the shadow coming this way a little bit. So my dark side of the tree is going to be on the left side. And so I'm just going to kind of come in and, and make some marks going around the tree. And those are going to be um, like a birch tree kind of going around it. So here's our finished tile, and um, I am holding the camera now, so pardon me if it's shaky. But um, I just wanted to show you really close up the detail, how fun this is to do, and it's relatively easy. So um, I would love if you want to learn this, and um, there's two other projects we're going to do on April 21st at the Tybus Studio in Brighton. Go ahead and go to my website, tybastudio.com, and um, just sign up and learn how to do this. And let's make some really cool tiles together. It is such a blast. All right, thanks for joining me. Bye.